If you're tired of the standard business and marketing fundamentals, frameworks, and funnels, <laughs> you need a little mischief. Get ready to turn up the volume on the CEO Mischief Maker podcast, where you access conversations with seasoned business owners who have smashed through mindset barriers, innovated the standard boring business and marketing playbooks, and executed future-paced strategies with bleeding edge tools and tactics to micro fail their way into massive success and growth. We are Mindset Impact Strategic Catalysts, helping innovative entrepreneurs focus. We are CEO Mischief Makers. Ready to make a little mischief? All right, Mischief Makers, it's Friday. It's my favorite day. I love strategy and tactics, and I'm back here with Heather Havenwood. Hey, Heather, here we go. Hey, okay, let's Woo-hoo. do that. Yeah, Just so... Okay. Yeah. So I was just going to say, you, you talked about mindset. We talked about impact and innovation. Now we're going to talk about strategy and tactics. And you talked about offers, packaging, all those things. So now take us through your secret sauce of how do we do that? How do we figure out an offer? How do we figure out packaging? Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's, let's go to the basics, right? So just real clear, whenever I'm looking at an offer or working with a client on an offer, what I'm always listening for is what's in it for the, whoever you want to impact, what's the problem we're solving. So it's really basic. What's the problem they're solving. Now, what happens with that is a lot of times people go, well, this is what they should be doing. I'm like, no, no, no. What is the language they're saying? So for instance, I had a client, here's a good example, I had a client and she, um, she's very good at helping people with stage fright, but that's not how she positioned it. She positioned it with like helping with phobias, right? And I'm like, well, give me a phobia. She's like, well, stage fright. I'm like, ah, (laughs) here we go. We got one. So I was like, okay, focus on stage fright specifically. So what we shifted it into, and she came up with it, which is confident in the spotlight. Well, people want that. They want to be confident in the spotlight, right? And so they don't, she doesn't go around going, well, I help phobia. She's like, I help people become confident in the spotlight. So boom, now we have a message that lands. That's the first piece. The second piece is the packaging. Well, there's multiple ways to package that. Yes, obviously there's one-on-one. Yes, then there's group. Then there's systemization. So those are the three different levels. So you've done done uh, see done with you, done for you, um, and do, do it yourself. DIY. Yeah. Yeah, DIY. So DIY, of course, is a course. Uh, one-on-one is do it for you and do it with you as in a group. So when you look at that level of packaging, then you go back to what do people really want? What's going to best serve them? Well, in this case, specifically with her, we're going to do group and one-on-one. And she doesn't like to market. She's not a front person. I call it a front person. Not everyone's designed to be a front person like me and like you. Not everyone's designed for that. Some people love to be in the back and they like to be able to be the creators. And so we're, what we did is here's a strategy. I said, Perfect. There's so many people out there, coaches and consultants that are what I call out there, you know, like a Brandon Burchard, like big, you could actually come in as a facilitator to support their group into basically teaching them how to not fear the spotlight. Why would Brandon do that? Well, it's going to help with retention. He's going to make more money because people get into his high ticket coaching programs. Like I can't do this. Well, she could come in and help them through that. So Brandon would bring her in, right? As a retention. It's a retention basically mechanism. That's a retention strategy. So this is a case where we have a coach, a good coach who helps with this thing called stage fright or phobia so they can get confident in the spotlight. But instead of being the front person, because it's not her thing, she doesn't want to be the marketer. She wants to come help the marketers increase their retention and make more money. So that's an innovative way to stay impact and the strategy where you don't feel like you have to be the front person, right? So that's just one example. Yeah. So this is a couple of things. So you you covered so many options in that one example. So you talked yeah. about exactly the the message that she needed to to switch. She needed to retool uh, her message instead of saying I yeah. help with phobias. You need to come up with the the thing that the audience you're trying to impact. What's going on in their head? 
Okay. Um, what are they asking in their head already? What do they need? In the, what do they need? And what is in their head already? Because if you say that confidence in the spotlight, they're going to be ding, ding, ding. Oh my gosh. I was just thinking about that last night when I was thinking about doing a Facebook live, but I just couldn't get myself to do it. And I just, I just didn't do it. Right. So that's it. And so you, you, it's like, how did you know that? It's like you were, you were there last night seeing me struggle. That's it. So repack, retooling that message. Then the mm-hmm. way you package it, oh my gosh, there are so many ways. And I love what you were talking about with that whole idea of Brendan Bouchard, because what you can also do if you don't want to have to build your audience yourself like right. this is you can leverage other people's audiences that are aligned with you. They're not in the, see the, the mistake many people make is they go for the people who are doing the same thing. Yeah. No, you look at alignment. You look at someone who's doing something that you can then facilitate a deeper understanding of what they're already doing. And that's it. So Uh, there are so many ways. So you can't sit here and tell me, oh, I can't do this because I don't want to be in front of the camera or I don't want to be the main person. Just stop. I'm going to smack you in a minute. You (laughs) can still do this because there are other ways you can figure this out. And it's in the packaging. Listen to what Heather just said. All right. Oh my yeah. gosh, you just gave us one example and it covered the whole gamut. Yeah, position, <laughs> so there you really go, pos- you got it. <laughs> yeah, it's really positioning and packaging. Like if you can nail that, everything's easy. It's it's so much easier to market because at the end of the day in marketing world, there's two ways to do it. There's called organic and there's called put a credit card in Google and Facebook. Let's be clear, okay, that's it. So like one's gorilla and one's swipe. So, but if you don't get the positioning and the packaging right, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And you don't have to be the front person. There's tons yeah. of ways to be able to build your business on, I wouldn't say on top of, but um, adding value to other people that have already created a big business. Yes. So yeah. what, what last piece of advice would you give the people listening that have heard your mindset story, your impact and innovation and how you've innovated uh, the different things you've worked with and now Mm. really getting down to the strategy and tactics. What last piece of advice would you give those Mm. listening to just take away and just, just start running, start scaling, start growing. Well, um, one, making a decision that this is what you want to do. I'm 100% unemployable. So you may be employable. I don't know whoever's listening. I'm not. So I had to, have cho- I, I couldn't employ myself to save my life. Um, so make a decision, make a decision that you want to be an entrepreneur. This is what you want to do and be a creator and start to surround yourself with other people. That's a big one community. And then look at how am I positioning this product or service or myself And then how am I packaging myself? You get those two things right. Everything's going to become easier. Okay, hold on. If your mindset was shifted, you were inspired to innovate and you were spurred into action, don't just move on with your day. Focus, my friend, and take a few minutes to visit ceomischiefmaker.com to learn more about the value that was shared with you today. Please act now and create some CEO mischief of your own.